grace and peace to you all, New Life Church family. These things are never easy, kind of sharing that needs to happen now. But something I've learned from you all as a church family over the past 17 years as I've gotten to serve among you as pastor is that God never promises us easy, but God promises that we'll get through the things that aren't easy. We've often said together, prayed together, spoken together those words of the psalm. Not that we'll never have to go through the dark valley, but that God promises we don't have to be afraid when we go through the valley, even of the shadow of death, because God goes with us. And there I go preaching again. So here's what I need to share with you. I have announced as of this Sunday that I will be resigning as pastor here at New Life and of our sister congregation at Hope in Homer City. And I'm going to be taking a new call to serve a congregation in northwestern Ohio, outside of Toledo. I'm going to get to be with you all for four more Sundays. Um, my last Sunday at New Life and at Hope will be Sunday, September the 10th. We'll be able to use this time together both with the leadership and council, our shared ministry cabinet, and the leadership of our sister congregation at Hope, as well as the synod staff and our own Bishop Lozano, to do as much as we can to lay a good, solid groundwork for the transition time. Right now, um, I need you to know that as we make preparations for our family to relocate, um, we're needing to listen to the needs of our extended family and being in a new location will allow us to be um, much closer to both sides of our family, to parents as their health care needs develop or um, change over time and the ways that we may be called to be step, step up to be there for them. Um, and we feel like this is a moment where both New Life and Hope are on solid footing and can face this kind of transition in a way that we couldn't before, honestly, in the worst of COVID or when we were paying off a mortgage for this building or when we were building it all those years ago. So it feels like this is a moment that is more responsible to be listening to that voice calling us to another place and that helps you all as a congregation and a church family to be on solid footing to take the next steps. I know it's not easy to go through a season of change. I know it will be difficult in some ways for the congregation to adapt and to change. It will be difficult for me to adapt and change. You all know me well enough over these years to know I'm not always the biggest fan of change. And I do so with trepidation, but also with confidence that the same God who will walk with me and with my family in these days will continue to walk with you all as a congregation. I'm going to continue to remain available and open to you all as a congregation in the remaining 30 days that I'll be with you starting August 13th, so running through September 12th, where you have questions or concerns, if you need to meet with me one-on-one, -on -one, if there's things that would be helpful for you to talk through, process through, or if there are ways that I can be helpful as we as a congregation uh, make preparations for that transition time, and I can help hand things off to leadership here in the congregation, I'll be here for that. I want you all to know, too, what a blessing you all have been in my life. And I think back to being a fresh out of seminary pastor 17 years ago, and you welcomed me in all of my newness and all of my nerdiness and all of my uncertainty, and you have helped me in immense and wonderful ways, and I'm grateful to God for you and for this place and this community as a congregation. I have every confidence God will continue to walk with you and that there are new good things in store for this congregation, even as you all head in a new direction with pastoral leadership into the future. I want to end this conversation right now, this least video conversation, with words that we've kept coming back to, at least in the last 17 years that I've been with you. They are the words we've come back to every time we meet for annual congregational meetings. They're the words that come out often of our evening prayer, and they seem important for this moment as well. 
So I'll invite you where you are to pray along with me these words we know from evening prayer. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers of new life, know that I will continue to keep you all in my prayers, not just in this month of transition, but for the, for the long-term future. And I continue to thank God for you and for the ways you have been a presence of new life and of light in my life and of this community. And I thank you for being who you are. Blessings to you all as we continue this journey and then as God leads each of us in new directions.